have one day to get all four masks. We only have two right now. You're right, brother. There's not much time left. Let's continue our search. Rumor has it, the final masks are somewhere in this area. Wait a minute, what's that over there? Is that a rock? It's not a freaking rock. Oh, who's that? Oh? Oh, it's not a rock. Uh, hello there. Hello, I, I have the third mask. We can use this creature to find the fourth one. There might be hope yet, brother. What is this creature, if not a rock? A roll rat. <laughs> okay, enough of this trash. All right, anyways. <laughs> What's going on, boys and girls of the shaft? Yeah, that's right. Boom, I love throwing these things. Did you know glow sticks just stick on everything? Look at that. So in today's very exciting video, <laughs> We're gonna be talking about everything you need to know about the Roll Rat! The school bus of Ark, the most... Probably the most, like, mobile... Uh, I don't know, the thing that just... It's super mobile, it's pretty gosh darn versatile, and this is gonna be your tribe's new favorite way to get around. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications. So, it's not much more for me to say. Let's just go right into it! Alright, so the first thing we've got to talk about as it relates to this guy over here, is first of all, where are you gonna find them? Well, if you've been playing Aberration for any amount of time whatsoever, you probably know where you find roll rats. You find roll rats in the Fertile Chamber. They're all over the place, very common, pretty easy to find. And we have one of our little roll rats over there. And, you know, you don't have to worry about anything with the roll rats. I can walk right up to it and it's... Docile. It, it won't attack you. It's all good. It'll be polite. It's a nice creature. That's really gross. Now, how do you tame it, though? Well, taming is probably the easiest aberration creature to tame. Uh, sort of. So, you, first of all, you're gonna need bee honey for the tame. The roll rat eats and loves bee honey. And I have so much in my inventory. Okay, so, so you got you got honey. And that's its favorite food. Now, if you don't know how to get honey, well, lucky for you, I already made an everything you need to know about the giant bee. You're gonna find beehives around and that's how you get the honey. So go check out that video if you do not already know how to get honey. But if you do know how to get honey, well, here we go. So all you gotta do is just walk up to him and just toss some honey on the ground. There you go, you, you like that, bro? Is that good? You enjoy that? It was so good, he's just like... He, he just had to stop. <laughs> he couldn't blink or anything. Alright, I'll throw another one. Okay. Actually, it seems like you can feed these guys pretty quick. I, I don't think there's any delay on, on how quickly you can throw... Eat it. Oh, there we go, I did it! Oh, Aww, I'll call him Jade. Aw, look! Haha! <laughs> we did it, bro! Now we can finally get the fourth mask! So, there you go! I mean, <laughs> there's not a ton to talk about as far as stamina goes. It's probably the easiest aberration creature to tame. Now we're gonna get on in and we're gonna go a little bit more in depth. We're gonna talk about tips and tricks and stats. So let's, let, let's cut the video here and go to the next part. So, quick tip, guys! Hey! If you're using the roll rat, avoid this spot because if you get stuck here, you can't get out. I got lucky because those trikes got me out, so avoid nooks and crannies or you will get stuck. All right, so what do we start with here? What, what do we talk about? Well, let's talk about damage output because that's what I'm always most interested in. So the roll rat has really one attack and it's a left click bite. 
The left click bite's actually pretty good. We which, we looked at the Basilic yesterday, and it did about, what was it, only about 100, dam 100 damage base? 150? At 150? 100? Yeah, so the bite on that was pretty good, but the bite on the Roll Rat's actually better. It does, what was it again, 100 and... Yeah, 120 damage per bite, so it's okay. Like, the bite's actually pretty good. It's actually better than the Basilic. Of course, it's nothing compared to that, uh, that Poison Spit, but that's about the only combative thing you've got. The other thing you've got, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat a little bit here and use infinite stats, so I have the ability to just talk about this. The other thing is you have a roll. Now, if you charge it long enough, the roll will start doing damage. Problem is, if you use the roll against a creature that's close to you, it does no damage. So I'll demonstrate here. See, that didn't do any damage. Okay, so that's a problem. So if you want to if you want to use the roll as an attack, you need to charge it up, which in my mind kind of makes it not a useful thing. And you can see that the roll even doesn't really do that much damage either. It does have a knockback, but I'd call that like icing on the cake. It's not that great. So you got a bite. So this thing really isn't going to be a combat tame. What you're going to want to use this thing for is basically just to get around. It's kind of like a, a versatile, a somewhat versatile starter tame. Another thing you got to keep in mind is the saddle, which is crafted in the smithy. The saddle takes damage as you roll, and you can see we haven't been rolling that much, and it's already taken a, a nice chunk of damage, that saddle. So you're going to be spending a lot of time repairing the saddle, so there's some drawbacks to that roll ability. Now, what the roll rack does do, though, really good, is it's great for carrying tribe mates around. You can see that it's got six seats, so you can sit... Uh, six tribe mates up and it has public seating so this thing's going to be great for really i'd say beginner to mid-level tribes who want to get around pretty quickly once you start getting into the caverns and things that are really vertical it, you're not going to find much use with this you're going to wind up rolling off of cliffs and everything and be like ah how do i get it back uh, and then i mean i don't know you're just screwed on that so you gotta be really careful not to roll off of cliffs because i don't know how in the hell you're gonna get this thing back up. The other thing that it's good for is collecting berries. It's pretty good for collecting berries. And it's also great for collecting wood. So this thing's a, a berry and a wood picker. The trade-off with this though is the weight sucks. This is the base stats for a level 150 tame. And this is terrible. 560 weight with six seats. Like wild card needs to put out a patch and fix this because this is ridiculous when you have six people sitting on your roll rat the thing's not going to be able to move because it has no weights so that almost nullifies it this thing is incredible food i don't even know why that is lolly look at that food Ten thousand food for a 150 base why it's got it's a chubby dino. what was that <laughs> yeah it's a chubby dino <laughs> Uh, okay, so the melee damage is good at 290, so yeah, about 120 base damage for that bite, which is good. It's also got quite an appreciable amount of torpidity, so it's going to be hard to knock out. The health is eh, it's whatever. Stamina is eh, it's whatever. So, it's kind of like a dino that's okay at a lot of things, but overall not that impressive. And... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Personally, I'm, I wouldn't go out of my way to tame a bunch of these. Like I said, for people who are starter to mid-tier, maybe they'll be good. Again, great for collecting wooden berries, so maybe you'll do that. But then why would you bother when you can just get a trike easily, right? You wouldn't tame this just for berries. And Lolly, is there anything on Aberration that's good at collecting wood, or is the Roll Rat the only thing that'll be good for that? I think it's only the Roll Rat. Okay, so you're okay. So then, fine. Then there we go. So you're going to be using the roll rat. The reason why you're going to want to tame a roll rat is pretty much just collect wood once you're beyond, let's say, starter to mid game, and then that's good and all. But again, the weight, the weight's terrible. So it's like, come on, this thing's like, <laughs> I don't know. Talking to Lolly and him talking to his PVPers, his PVP tribe. He's with one of the biggest uh, PvP tribes. From what 
what these guys say about it from like the hardcore PvP perspective is the thing is pretty much trash and they're not too excited about it. They use it just for wood, so that's kind of what you're going to be looking at. It can jump while it rolls though, so that's cool. Now, as far as leveling goes, Lolly, what, what would you recommend people do for, for leveling? Health, because if you're fighting something and get stuck, you're not going to get out of it. Yeah, this thing has a tendency to get pretty stuck and it's pretty slow at that. How about movement speed? What do you think about movement speed? Would it be worth upgrading that? If it makes the rolling faster, I recommend movement speed. Let's just pump movement speed, dude. So let's see what happens if we boost movement speed, like, to 200%. There we go. Okay, so first of all, oh, that is so much better. Just normal sprinting, because this thing's so slow otherwise. Let me, let me get us a glow stick. All right. The turning radius on this is terrible. What on earth? Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at how fast that is, Lolly. What? That makes it a little bit more worth it. Just a little, though. Okay, so if you if you pump crazy movement speed into this thing, as far as something for getting around the map very rapidly goes, like, this would be pretty great for that purpose. Again, you can't get it up and down things, so... There's not a whole lot to talk about here with the roll rat. I think that this is pretty much... I think we've pretty much covered it all. That's... there's not... this is a pretty two-dimensional creature! For a, th for a 3D creature, this is pretty 2D, there's not a lot to talk about. I was pretty excited about it, uh, in the spotlight video I did, but... Eh? Eh? When I'm playing with it, I'm like, eh? I don't know. What do you guys think? You think this thing... is there, am I missing something? Is there something about this that's actually really good that I'm not seeing? What do you like it for? Do you guys bother taming it? Let me know in the comments down below. And I think I'm going to wrap up the video right here. I hope to get out another video or something out today. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe with notifications and come join our Discord right now. Link in the comments and the description. I'll see you guys in the next video.